Okay, this video is going to be on how to show you how to create a Ultimate Boot CD, uh, Windows Ultimate Boot CD in particular. I'll put a couple links over on the side for you to be able to actually download the files that are needed. Uh, some stuff uh, you will need for this uh, to start you off immediately. You will need a uh, Windows CD, uh, Windows XP CD in particular. Um, preferably with Service Pack 2 or 3 already on it um, and of course the files from the Ultimate Boot CD website Ultimate Boot CD for Windows and uh, this series of videos uh, this is going to be part of a series of videos I should say um, on doing some spyware removal I'm going to do these every once in a while so uh, one of the key tools I'm going to be talking about that you'll need will be the ultimate boot CD so we're going to start with that uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, put your CD your uh, Windows CD into your computer had to push mine in there for you uh, you may get prompted um, as to what you want to do with the CD um, might give you a little Windows uh, log uh, not login but setup screen uh, which you want to go ahead either cancel out of here we go it took a little while uh, running this in a virtual machine you can just hit the exit on that and you want to go to your CD drive and explore it and you want to copy the entire contents of this CD and put them in a folder on your C drive I should have went up a level and we're going to call this folder XPCD. And we're going to paste the contents of that in there. Uh, and the next step, we're going to download the files for uh, the Ultimate Boot CD. And it will need to know the location of your uh, XPCD folder we just made. So we'll want to specify that. Uh, I create the folder directly on the C drive to make it a lot easier for typing it in, accessing it, etc. After that copies to your hard drive, uh, next step would be to actually download the Ultimate Boot CD files themselves. Um, there's the website address, I'll put a link to that over on the side. Uh, go to Downloads, click a mirror, uh, try and even it out. I usually will pick like a third or fourth one, but um, this one I just happen to click on the first one. and mine is currently already downloading and um, give you a little bit of general information on it while I wait a little bit um, the ultimate boot CD uh, whole purpose of using this is you go through you build it and you can actually start up uh, your system off of it uh, instead of booting directly into a copy of Windows that's on your hard drive uh, you'll be booting up off of a copy that's on a CD uh, what this will let you do is actually go through scan your infected system with a known good clean copy of Windows that's on this CD and then you can actually go through and remove the spyware before Windows can even start up so when you go through and try and remove spyware even in safe mode uh, nowadays uh, sometimes that spyware is already running you go through you delete it it just puts itself right back in makes a different name for itself or it's completely even hidden from your view. It'll even hide the registry entry from you. You know it's there. You can see it with some programs and some you can't or it doesn't even show up at all. So booting up off of a copy of Windows that isn't infected will allow you direct access to the registry, the file system, uh, all kinds of stuff. A whole bunch of tools are contained within this, mostly anti uh, spyware, virus removal tools, some diagnostics as well and this can just save you a ton of trouble of trying to go through and remove something uh, in a current infected version of Windows. Uh, you of course want to go through and build this before you actually need it. Uh, if you have another system sitting around that isn't infected you can of course use that to go through and build uh, your ultimate boot CD but you don't want to go through try making this CD when your system is already infected because it could infect the uh, boot CD that you're trying to make okay as our program's still downloading and whatnot let's go ahead and create a new folder on our C drive we're gonna call this our 
ultimate boot CD folder. This is where we're going to actually build uh, the ultimate boot CD. Our download finished. So let's go ahead and run that program. Of course, we speak English. And of course, you have to agree to terms basically telling you you got to use it with a valid Windows license. Um, other things in here basically telling you what it's about. I'm going to go ahead and change it to the folder I just made. I forgot that it does that for you here. And we'll do a next. Put on the start menu next. Install. After the extraction is complete, it'll ask you want to verify your files. Go ahead and do that. Uh, you can save yourself a lot of trouble if you go ahead and just verify your files uh, right after you do the extraction. Uh, because otherwise you could have some files that were partly corrupt um, during the extraction or something could have happened with the writing of it to your drive. Um, another thing that can also happen is um, you know, if you have some antivirus software or something like that, it could have changed some of those files or was writing them to because it might see some of these things as being um, viruses or spyware, but it's not too uncommon for an antivirus product to detect other antivirus products as spyware or viruses because they will have the signatures included within them. Okay, basically it tells you the integrity check went on through and basically to start the build process to open up the program uh, in the folder you just extracted it to. Um, after going through acknowledging the extra information um, it tells you that there's some small patch files that addresses between ver version releases would you like to check yes basically we want to go ahead and get any patches that are out there um, so we can actually update our boot CD make sure it's going to be the most current that it can be uh, since I haven't got any message box I assume there's it's either still running or it's not found anything and apparently I can't click next so it must be still running I don't remember it being that slow on the check It goes on through, tells us there were no more patches available. And yes, go ahead and launch the builder application. Saves us the trouble of having to actually go through and find it ourselves. Uh, basically, it gives you the same license agreement you agreed to before. And search for Windows installation files. Uh, no, we're going to just go ahead and tell it. Uh, where the Windows installation files are. Save us some time. And uh, if you want to include additional files, you can tell it to pick them out of a directory. That's good if you got um, some additional tools that you might want to run on there. Um, sometimes I like to put in there my uh, anti spyware tools because once I go through and clean a system out, I want to save myself the hassle of having to go through and download uh, my tools to put in there so I'm going to uh, do a quick jump edit so you don't see where mine are located on my server okay I've got my files downloaded in in the folder there it's basically just a zip file containing a copy of spybot search and destroy hijack this uh, and a couple other utilities and like I said, it's basically just something for myself because um, I will be using this with my actual customers on site and whatnot. And basically, I just use that copy already on the CD so I don't have to go through download it again. Uh, so once I do clean the system off with the Ultimate Boot CD, I just simply copy these files uh, onto the hard drive. And that way, I don't have to go through and download them if they're on dial up or something like that. It can save me a huge amount of time. So. Um, next step you want to do is go through and check the plugins. I go ahead and click the button for that. I like to go through and create an ISO image, uh, so I just leave that, you know, as is the setting that it's got. 
and this is the key part to the ultimate boot CD all the plugins this is going to have your antivirus anti spyware tools memory testers hard drive utilities all that good stuff um, so as far as uh, things that I like to make sure are in here I'm looking for um, anti spyware utilities themselves hijack this make sure that's in there um, each one of them it depends on um, usually they have like a little piece of text here that will tell you that the config button will just do an update um, but sometimes that config button will give you additional settings in this case there's nothing else for it uh, for hijack this